Hello, my name is Leonie. Today I will show you how you can manage the product backlog and collect and rate your ideas, customers' feedback, features or insights in Hugo. Also, you will learn how to apply ICE prioritization methodology to your workflow in Hugo and how to share your product roadmap with other departments. Templates are made to speed up your working process in Hugo. So let's start a tutorial with the template Product Backlog. You choose the board, type its name, you can use the same name and click Create. Now we can start collecting your ideas. For collection and prioritizing, you can use the first column, Backlog. You create a separate task for each idea, feature request or customer's insight here. As soon as you've done it, you can rate them. Open the board menu and switch on the prioritization. We have chosen value and efforts matrix for the previous tutorial. The link for the first tutorial you can find in the description below. Now we will draw our attention on ICE prioritization type. When each task is rated with impact, confidence and ease. Open your task to rate it. Impact shows how much your idea will positively affect the key metric you're trying to improve. Confidence, how confident you are in your evaluation. And ease, the easiness of implementation. Each criterion is rated from 0 to 10. Then multiply impact and confidence by ease and you'll get the final score. The higher the score, the more valuable the task is. To change the task order by its score, Open the three dots menu of the column and choose Sort by Score. Pay attention that, as soon as you click Sort, you're unable to return it to the original order. To see the evaluation of all tasks of the board, open the Table view. You can use filters to sort task by ICE metrics, impact, confidence or ease, and its final score. Now let's return to our board view. When you prioritize all tasks from the backlog column and sort it, you can move the most scored tasks to the following column, next up. It means that you can focus on these tasks. When you start researching your ideas, talking to customers, analyzing competitors and gathering requirements, you move a task to specification column. You can also reprioritize features according to new feedback and knowledge you obtain during the features research. When everything is ready, you put the task to the Done subcolumn. When you're ready to implement a feature and to add it as a task to development board, Kanban or Sprint, you add the task to the development column. When the feature is designed, you want it to be implemented and delivered. So you can push it to some external boards where you manage features development. We have push command just for this situation. The original task and pushed one will be linked and its link will be displayed under the description. When you complete the task on the Kanban board, the push task will also be completed on Backlog board and move to the Done column. Now to show to your support, sales and marketing teams what your product team is going to add in the nearest future, you can add your task to Timeline without duplicating it. You add tasks from Backlog board or tasks from the Development board by link option or add task from another board, and your teams will be acknowledged about tasks your development team is working on or going to work on, and task status. During the development, product manager can show the percent of task completion on timeline. He opens the pop-up and chooses the numerical value. The task bar will be colored equally to the percent of task completion, so your teams will be visually notified about the status of the task. Now add your colleagues to the board and share your project plans with them. Good luck!